welcome back to Real Rider Reviews. In this video, we will be reviewing jumping boots. And we decided to split up our jumping boots and the boots that you would see in the equitation ring because it's just too wide of a topic. If you have anything to add to our video, please make sure that you put it in the comments below. And if there's anything that you want to see us review, make sure that you tell us via Instagram or Facebook um, or send us an email. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hi, I'm Holly and this is my horse, Chloe. Um, Chloe's a new horse to me and we're going to hopefully be stepping into the jumper ring this summer. Uh, my real rider review today is on the Greenhawk Thermal Therapy Open Front Boot. Uh, I originally had the back on track boots, the exact same, but they fell apart really quickly. So they're close to the same price point and they're practically identical. I thought I would try the Greenhawk Thermal Therapy brand. Three things that I really love about this boot is because they're the thermal therapy, they support circulation. Uh, they have a hard outer shell to protect tendons and I really like the snaps for them. They snap in quickly and they hold tight to Chloe's leg. One thing that I don't particularly love about this boot is they're really difficult to clean. Um, even with a brush it's hard to get them sparkly. So hopefully this helps you in deciding which open front boot you want. shed row open front boot so I really like it has a classy look and then it also has a thicker elastic strap which are very durable and then it also she's sensitive to the thinner elastic she's in, in the past had swelling in between where the elastic went and so these ones were really good she didn't get any swelling and then as well they're machine washable which is super easy for everyday use and then uh, she's also sensitive with the back boots. She used to kick out with a lot of back boots, but with these, she hasn't been kicking at all. And I'd also like to add that I've had these for six years and they've stayed really, really nice and they're extremely durable. So Carson, which boots do you have? Um, these boots are the Virtus Grand Prix sheepskin lined boots. Um, these are orthopedic and they conform to the shape of the horse's leg. Um, they're also temperature regulated and non-allergenic, so they're not going to irritate your horse's legs. Um, they're really soft on the inside and they also have this amazing protection on the outside, so definitely good protection for your horse's legs. Yeah. Is there anything you don't like about them? Um, no, I think they're fantastic boots. I mean, obviously with sheepskin, you have to make sure you take care of the material more so than you know, a regular boot that's made out of um, a different material. So you have to make sure that you wash them with um, a lot of liquid that's designed for sheepskin. Yeah. And then how do they hold up with the synthetic footing? Because I know lots yeah. of barns have this now. Mm -hmm. um, they actually hold up really well. So the one advantage and one thing I really like about these boots is if any of the footing gets in there, it doesn't actually irritate the horse's legs at all. Um, I know uh, sand, when it gets in the horse's boots, can bring it down, like irritate the horse's rub. legs, can rub, yeah. Whereas the sheets can really limit that. So I think that's a really good point to an advantage of these boots. Yeah, I really like them. Perfect, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, these are the Pro Classic Veritas boots, and actually I have had these boots since 2008, so quite a long time. Um, these boots have been great. Um, they have leather uh, on the inside as the liner, um, which is a nice feature and a hard feature. Um, they are nice with the synthetic footing because they do tend to rub a little bit less, however, these boots are very difficult to clean. So do not use them if you're going to be in any kind of mud or water down footing or anything like that. I just use them strictly only on grass. Um, these boots also um, are difficult to clean the strap across the front, um, the cloth strap. And one thing I would say too, and this is not a fault of the boot, it's a fault of the way that we store them, a lot of times people put their boots like this and then they put the strap across the front 
And um, like I said, it's not a fault of the boot, but the straps tend to um, stretch out and then they don't fit properly. Um, but that, again, is because of the way that we are storing them. They should actually be stored like this in individual bags separately um, rather than stored together like that. The Veritas Carbon Gel Boots, and I love these boots. The claim is that they're supposed to be um, a little bit cooler for the horses with a ventilation system. Um, I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not because I did find them to be quite hot in the summer, but they definitely are a little cooler than some of the options out there on the market. Um, they're extremely lightweight and they give good tendon protection and they're super easy to clean. So on any of those days where it's a little bit muddy or if they're watering in the warm-up ring um, or the ring that you're in and the footing gets a little bit wet, um, we just throw ours in the washing machine and then before you put them on, if you use a little um, armor all, they get super shiny. Um, the one thing I would say is that we have synthetic footing here and I don't like to get any synthetic footing because they will tend to rub um, on the horse's skin. So I would wash them every time you use them. Um, I don't use these for every day, I just use them at the horse show. Um, so I can't speak to um, the wear and tear, but we've had them for over a year and there's hardly any marks on them and they've been used quite heavily. Um, one thing about the Veritas boots is they do fit um, a little bit finer horse. I have a couple of horses that they didn't fit super well. I know they come in uh, medium and large sizes, um, but I do find that they are a better fit for the fine boned horses. And the back boots always seem to fit a little larger than the front boots. Veritas has also come out with several different options of hind boots. You can get two strap um, or one strap, which I do not have here today, or you can have the boots do up on the side. The one thing I will say also is that Veritas is approved in all FEI disciplines. soft boot. Um, they're a great boot. They're easy on, easy off. They're easy to maintain. You can throw them in the washing machine. Um, they dry and come up quite clean or you can take a sponge to them after each use. Um, it has a nice flexible part here as well which moves with the horse. Um, which is great. It offers great protection. Um, the only downside to them is after a while there, the velcro does go on them and then you have to replace them. But I've had these boots for about three years now and they're, they're still great. And uh, as I said, easy on, easy off and great protection. Um, so I like the plain old Escadron type boot for hacking. Um, I got these ones. These are the Intex. Flex Rider. I like them because they're cheap and they have a thick elastic that goes around the front of the leg so it doesn't cut off any circulation. Um, I like that they are durable, they last a long time and the straps are very adjustable so you can use them on all sorts of different horses. If you have a lot to ride in the day it goes a lot faster if you don't have to switch boots every time. So for showing, I like to use something a little fancier than an Escadron, so I use the E-Quick boot. They have a gel on the back of the boot by the tendons um, to provide extra support and shock absorbing. Um, I like that you can just throw them in the washing machine to wash them, so it's a lot easier if it's muddy out. And I also like that they're good for sensitive horses with sensitive skin. I've never had them 
um, rub anything. For the matching back boots with the e-cricket ones, um, they have a purple insert that you need to have in if you're showing FEI because if you don't have it in, then you can tighten this back strap and make it more of a pressure boot. Um, but other than that, it still has the gel in it for shock absorbing and it has very adjustable straps so you can make it as tight or as loose as you need. Um, I like it that it cups around the ankle so they feel the boot there a little bit um, and makes them more careful even with the insert in um, if you need that. They also have a version that just goes on the inside of the foot that doesn't cup around if you have a horse that's more sensitive that doesn't need the one that goes around. Um, but other than that, yeah, they provide good support. Um, Um, what I love about them is I love the fit. They've never slipped and they fit all my horses really well. The elastics aren't too tight. They don't leave indents in the legs. Um, what I found bad about them is after a couple months or so the stitching came loose and after a year or so the leather started to wear. The actual boot itself is anatomically molded with um, virtually an unbreakable shell and it absorbs impact shock, vibration, and relieves pressure point, which is really nice. The liners can form to the leg for support and absorb extreme concussion and impact, and you can also order specialty liners like Sheep School for sensitive horses. And the best part is that you can order the boots in virtually any color, so I just have brown, but you can get like lavender. You can also get your initials printed on them, they're really nice. They look great in the show ring. These are the Equifit D-Tech boots. They're very popular among professionals and Grand Prix riders. The outer shell is very hard to, uh, to add more protection. And then the inner shell is a foam that's removable for washing. And the foam on impact, it becomes rigid to allow more protection for the legs. The straps are wider elastic to avoid any pressure points and to ensure a snug fit that doesn't move on the horse or rub. And they're available in a few different colors and sizes, so that's always very good for different sizes of legs. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Real Rider Reviews. We hope you liked it. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. We're also super excited to announce a giveaway with Green Hawk Calgary. So we're giving away a set of the Shedro Open Front Boots, as well as a set of the Thermal Therapy Jumper Boots. So make sure you go to our Instagram at Real Rider Reviews to see full contest details. And also, uh, Green Hot Calgary is offering a discount, so use the code RRR15 on the Green Hot Calgary online website to get 40% off Shedro Open Front Boots and Hines, as well as the Thermal Therapy brand.